Hello guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download Composerly's now privated YouTube videos with a tool that I have recently created. Of course, this tool wouldn't have been possible without the people who made YouTube DL and DLP, as well as ARIA too. I coded this tool on Hacks and it sadly does not work on mobile and I also couldn't figure out how to download from Mac so sadly those aren't supported. Anyway, this is how you can download and set up the tool. So first, you'd want to go to this GitHub link leading to my repository which I'll leave down in the description of this video. Someone tried adding Mac support. I encourage you to read the instructions I had given in this GitHub repository since it explains everything you need to know about the tool. So to start off, you need to download the tool in the releases page of the repository and then extract the zip file. But first, if you are on Windows, you should know if you are using either 32-bit or 64-bit Windows. One way of doing this is by right-clicking this PC then pressing Properties. The format of yaw.channels has to be the text between https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash and slash videos. It has to be separated in lines. For yaw.videos, each video has a title which is the text it shows on the app when trying to select which video you want to download. And the video ID which is the ID of the video. It's the 11 characters after https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch v equals so now you should just go to the releases page and since i know my computer is 64-bit windows i will download yadwin 64.zip and extract it to a folder And now here it is getting the video links of Composerly's channel archives. Before dumping Composerly's channel, I recommend pasting this in yaw.videos first because it contains some other video links that I have. Don't worry, I'll also leave it in the description. Oops, technical issues. I forgot to put 64-bit Windows DLP in my Yaw binaries GitHub. Colon skull. Fast forward, I fixed it. It does take a while so just be patient. As you can see, it is in fact downloading. Because it's an archived video, 
it will take longer to download. I haven't noticed it was done already. Alright, so if you heard any like Justin Bieber song, basically any mainstream pop artist you can think of, most of their songs are based on music trends depending on what genre is hot during that. Off the basing off the album. Alright, so every I do have to point out that this does not work on all of his or anyone's videos as if a video is not archived. The tool cannot download it. Archived meaning they used Wayback Machine or something. Oh and the tool is also multi-purpose. Since it uses DLP, it can also download YouTube videos. In the future, I will add a format selector. MCS, also known as No Copyright Sound. Basically, it's a record label founded by Billy Woodford. Alan Walker, who used to be signed by NCS, left through them with his song, you know, Faded. Also, there were also notable producers like Jim Yusuf, Electronomia, Aeroport, Waysons, Hobu, and many more. NCS covers a wide range of electronic music, such as like Noir, Dubstep, Trap. So, a lot of you guys have been spamming me Camellia in like almost like every video I've been uploading. Listening to his music, I was like, If you took like all the EDM genres and add them all together, you get Camellia. Like listening to his music, it's like something you'd hear in like games like Osu or Geometry Dash. There's not a lot of info around him. All I could find out online was like he's a Japanese dude. He's been producing for almost like 10 years. I'm gonna keep this short. All you need to know about Glitch Hop is it's just wonky dubstep. There's many artists who cover Glitch Hop like uh, the, the Fat Rat, Virtual Riot. I mean, any dubstep producer, they, they make Glitch Hop. It's just, it's very wonky. So yeah, let's... All right, so if you heard any like Justin Bieber song, basically any mainstream pop artist you can think of, most of their songs are based on music trends depending on what genre is hot during that time. I don't know, like, what was that album, Believe album? That was predominantly like an EDM style album. Fast forward to 2020, all the kids are into like the trappy, rappy, emo thing. I'm a bit late on this meme, but this thing's pretty much like the hottest thing right now. You know your boy, Comp. If there's a meme taking off, I've gotta remix it, so I can't play the original song, because basically it's been claimed. This is basically the song, the song for Denise by Piano Fantasia. So Fruity Chan, who are we covering for today? 
We are doing virtual self. Wait, you mean virtual rocket? Virtual self. Virtual self? Wait, how can you have two who have the same name? Because virtual self. Fine, virtual self. Wait a minute, that's just a Porter Rockington tutorial. I already did it. Yo, like this video is about to be a decade old. I mean, this is insane. I mean, it's so weird. Like, this is now like, I don't know if you've seen this channel now. It's now a political channel. It's so weird. They went from making memes to Ujiko. Pretty much, um, he a producer, you know, for making, um, inspirational bass music. Pretty much he's, um, he's born from Japan. So, so far I did like the four wave shapes, if you've seen my videos on those. So now what I'm gonna do, okay, so I'm gonna use my D-Fam. I zoomed this up so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I made this weird patch, so I mean, I guess if you want, if you got a D-Fam, if you want to copy it, I mean, be my guest. Everyone keeps playing this game. I played it too. It's a bit of fun, but I just noticed that Among Us just doesn't have good music. 